Welcome back, guys. This is Sebastian, and Sebastian is our pet of the week this week. He is a one-year-old neutered male, and he also is um, also has his rabies vaccination, and also has the feline leukemia and FIV testing done. One thing about Sebastian here, other than he looks like he's about ready to fall asleep in TJ's arms, he is on a sensitive stomach diet. He, when he first came in here, which um, was around March, I'm sorry, May, um, we noticed he had some diarrhea <clears throat> and we decided to put him on a sensitive systems diet. Uh, we actually feed the Purina type and he has been doing much better with that. Um, the stools are starting to get more solid and he is doing a lot better on that and he seems to enjoy his food a lot. Um, I know when I come in here and I clean, he is sitting right there at on his bed and as soon as I open his cage to hurry up and feed him, he is there at the bowl and he is ready to eat. So he definitely has a big appetite and he is just a love bug. He is such a sweetheart and he's been here for a while. So we're trying to get him up and out of here into a new forever home. So TJ, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Yes, about little Sebastian here. He is a sweetheart, as Kayla said. And with him being on sensitive diet, if you do adopt him, um, I would avoid giving much at all in treats because that can upset his sensitive system. And also here we have him using two litter pans. He is, the, he is the cat we've mentioned before. There are some that will do one in one litter pan and they'll, they want a totally clean pan to do the other process. So we have two litter pans in his box and that seems to work. He, pre previously, he would, have, like Kayla said, he had diarrhea. He would go in his pan and then he would not go in it again so you would find whatever he did in a corner or on a blanket. So two litter pans is a definite for him. And he has them side by side here. But there are cats and families that have cats. And they found out that their cat is very particular, very persnickety, as a lot of us are about those private moments that we have. We want it to be clean. We want it to be nice. And that's definitely the way Sebastian is. He wants everything just so, and we do our best to get it that way for him, and he appreciates it and loves us for it, and he will the same for you. He is going to be our pet of the week. He's looking for that happy forever home. We have plenty of other animals, too. While I'm talking to you, we have guinea pigs. Um, I believe we have a rabbit up for adoption. Mm -hmm. um, dogs, anything special back there? Uh, right now we have a couple small dogs, a couple medium-sized dogs, um, and of course we still have our regular um, bullies that have been here for a while, like Lily. Um, we actually got four dogs neutered um, over this past week. We got Swayze neutered, Nitro neutered, we also got Toby, who is a little terrier, and we also have Ali, who has been here for quite some time as well. We got him neutered, so most of our male dogs are now neutered. So they are a flat $70 donation, and we have plenty more. We have um, Lily, who is spayed. We have Violet, who is not. Um, so come on down, take a look at them, and we also have um, plenty of our smaller dogs that are also looking for good homes as well. So come on down. We'll be glad to get them out for you and glad to be um, getting them their new good homes. So as for Kayla and for TJ and for Mr. Sebastian here, we'll see you all next week on Best Pals. Have a good one. Bye.